may have taken two general elections, three prime ministers, and nearly four years to deliver the outcome of just one referendum, but the UK is now officially out of the European Union. Brilliant Brexit today! God save the Queen! No more people telling us what we can do. We're British, mate. 11 p.m. on the 31st of January 2020 will forever be remembered as the moment the UK left the relationship it's been in for 47 years. As the countdown was happening, how did it feel? Fantastic. Yeah, sure. We were really glad we're here. It's a moment in history, isn't it? We are leading the way to defend democracy. Same in the United States. That's what Trump's about. Yes. Friday night's party was also a victory lap for the person whose supporters here see as the hero of the Brexit project. The real winner tonight is democracy. Democracy has won tonight. But behind the rhetoric, what's actually going to change in Britain? At first, not very much. The UK is now in a so-called transition period until the end of this year meaning it will remain in the single market and will still be bound by EU laws, but have no say in the European Parliament or at the European Commission. Oops. <laughs> How fitting. Behind the scenes, the race begins for a new UK-EU trade deal to be put in place by December 31st, 2020. That's a deadline Prime Minister Johnson has enshrined in law, despite many pro-Europeans voicing concerns that a near half century of economic and legislative alignment cannot be untangled in less than a year. 11 months is no way enough to get a proper deal. We have just given up 759 agreements, which took 47 years to negotiate. The EU has hinted that they would trade access to the EU's financial services market for access to Britain's waters for fishing. But we don't know all that much about the UK's specific goals and red lines and all the power rests with Johnson's government. Last month, he scrapped the provision in the Brexit legislation that allowed Parliament to scrutinise any future trade deals. When I look at the potential of this country waiting to be unleashed, I know that we can turn this opportunity into a stunning success. But that doesn't mean Johnson is getting his way entirely. He's still up against a unified bloc of 27 nations, meaning only two things are certain. There will be trade-offs and Brexit is far from over.